Hey guys, welcome to another Scratch tutorial. This is part one of making a complete platformer. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a player move. So first off, we're going to have to create the player. So for this, I'm just going to make a little black box, just like this, a little square. Yep, that might be a bit big. I'll shrink it a bit. Yep, that's good. A little more. Yep, a little player. And we're also going to need a ground sprite. So just get green. You can make this whatever color you want. Just make a box, a rectangle, which we can put on the ground. Make it a bit bigger so it covers the whole area. There we go. And we're also going to need a horizontal speed variable. So I'm just going to call this H speed, um, HSP, which stands for horizontal speed. <clears throat> you can write that out if you want, but I just prefer writing H speed, HSP. So first of all, we want the player to always be changing its X and Y, or sorry, its X, um, depending on its speed. So it will change its H speed. So we'll change x by h speed. Um, obviously, h speed is set to zero. We'll have it set to that at the start of every game. So when we click, it won't move. So what we need to do now is when flag clicked forever, if key right is pressed, so the right arrow, then we need to change h speed by one. Let's have a look what this looks like. So if I press the right key, then he speeds up. And we'll just duplicate that and make that the left arrow and change this to negative one. So now it works for both sides. So as you can see, he slowly builds up momentum and then gets a bit faster. Except we want some friction so that he doesn't just keep on going in a straight line. So what we'll do is we'll add another change h speed and what we want for this one is to change it get um, a minus out here h speed so it's just negative h speed except that'll make sh make it um, just set to zero each time so we don't want to take it all the way down to zero just part of the way um, so if we drag this out and put him in here then we just make it like one tenth of the way to zero so when we put this in, it will speed up and then slow down. So there's a bit of friction. So if I hold down the right arrow, he'll move and then eventually he'll stop. But as you can see, he's still doing just a little movement and you can see it takes a while for him to actually reach zero. And that can get a bit annoying because he's still sliding for a bit and it makes, makes it a bit annoying. So what we'll add is if he's close enough to zero, we'll just make it set to zero. So we'll put this in there. And then we want if h speed is less than 0 0.5. So that's pretty, pretty close to zero. And we also want it to be, because if we just put this in um, and then set h speed to zero, it'll work for the right side, but it'll mean that we can't move left. So we will also want it the same thing, but we want the opposite. Um, and we'll put H speed in here and make that negative 0 0.5. So if you see the sign is the opposite because it's negative um, and we just need an end to join these two up. So just put this here, pop those in there and then drag the end into the second, well, sorry, into the third if statement, the if else one. And now when we run this, and eventually when he gets close enough, he'll just stop instead of sliding along. So that's how to make movement. If you want to change it, so if you want to speed him up, if we change this number here to, let's say, 3 and negative 3, you'll see that he goes a lot faster. Um, or if you want to increase the friction so that he slides less, like he might look a bit like he's sliding. Then you can just decrease this number to maybe like three or something. You might have to speed him up if you do that. Um, so it looks less like he's sliding, more like he's moving. Um, and if you want to increase or decrease this, feel free to do that. 
Now I've just changed the threshold of when he just stops and sets to zero. But when you do this, you don't want these to be higher than five or whatever these numbers up here are. So if I set this to like six and this to negative six, he won't move. See, I'm pressing the keys and he won't move. But I can have this at like four and a half, negative 4.5, because that's just less than what this is. And he'll move and he'll stop almost instantly. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.